Happy Friday, YouTube. Pre-SVS is kicking off here in about mm, seven and a half hours. Uh, I got a pretty overwhelming response uh, in my inbox and messages about um, the last video I put out about, you know, stop playing like a 10-year-old and play like a, you know, like a five-star general, right? Um, and it really brings up a lot of thoughts and things that I've experienced in this game that I want to talk about. It's a uh, it's going to be a deep dive. It's going to get weird in here. <laughs> Grab your tissues, light a scented candle, you know, put on some sandals, get ready for a, a midnight show on the beach. But uh, we're going deep. Um, PVP fear is a real thing and is hindering a lot of servers. Um, I've witnessed this firsthand. I've been antagonistic about it in my approach at one point or another. So, you know, any SVS that, that I walk into, you know, their top 20, 30, 50 players, what have you, for the most part, it's a very small percentage of players that actually participate in SVS. You got your big corners, you got the, the top guys, um, but for the most part, it's the same exact people that are participating. Like in my server, like it's almost always the same top five. Um, like we're running out of like king rotations at this point. Um, we have a we have a really good winning percentage, but I see this in in, in my alliance. Uh, I see it all over the place, and I, I know it's a thing where people are, whether you're aware of it, whether you're skilled, whether you're brand new, but people are afraid to PvP. Crazy, right? You think about that. Yeah, and we'll dive into it as as to why. I do believe a, a big part of it starts off with you know veteran players from older servers they move on to a new one and they're just really experienced and they just have like a certain expectation uh in regards to you know somebody just no understanding you know what the game is i've gotten frustrated with it as well i'm like hey like my personal thoughts on this is like look you're playing a game you're investing your time your money both one or the other doesn't matter there is so much information out on this game where there's really no excuse not to, you know, learn the basics on, you know, like PVP and, you know, ghosting and, you know, really at least getting like one, one march out. Right. Um, even on my server, there's so many players that, you know, they're playing Farmville, you know, they're, they're playing Candy Crush, right? Like they're not, you know, they're not in it to, to fight. They're, they're in it, you know, just to collect stuff, I guess you could say, right. They're, they're, they're gatherers, farmers is a, you know, pretty common terminology for that. Those fall into two categories. You do have people that really have no interest in, in PVP. And then you have others that are waiting for the right time, you know, for them to participate. <laughs> um, and it blows my mind because like even early on in SVS, I mean, we had a couple, uh, you know, K28s, K30s, um, you know, 30 mil power, 50 mil power, you know, they were cranking out, you know, a hundred mil positive, you know, SVS points. And I'm thinking, you know, wow, like that's just all skill. It's not like they have a lot of troops. They're not playing defense. They just have a really good understanding of the game. Right. And any SVS that you run into, I mean, look at the top 100. I mean, what 5%, if that is going to be, you know, 700 mil plus players, probably another 50% is going to be, you know, not even 50%, like maybe 30% is going to be like the 200 to 400 mil, probably another 20% is going to be that, you know, like 100 mil marker. But really, I mean, a big chunk of every single server is made up of 20, 30, 40, 50, it, it, the bulk of it, right? I mean, any server has far more lower power players than they have big. It's just, it is what it is, right? You got a thousand people on your server, 930 of them are, are really small accounts. But even the ratio of, you know, bigger power players, meaning like 100 mil plus, um, I, I noticed a lot of them don't participate in SVS, my server, other servers, um, even the, the 20, 30 mils, like there's just a, a handful of people that, you know, are going to the enemy server, they're ghosting, like they know exactly what to do. Falls into two categories, as I mentioned, those who just have no interest in doing it. And then those that are just afraid to actually put themselves out there. 
you know, as you guys know, you know, when you, if you're a newer server or probably in your current server state, you know, it's probably not a nurturing environment, you know, especially if you're coming off of like a tough SVS loss, right? Like, you know, big power players, they're, they're putting a lot of time into it. They're blowing speed up sources of life. Like they're, they're covering losses. And then you got one player that, you know, pops up and boom, like they go negative a hundred mil. And then you're like, oh man, like that just, you know, what are you doing? So it, like, there's, there's a lot of re negative reactions to poor performance in comparison to an environment of promoting people to actually fail. Cause here's the thing, you know, every majority of the player base in Ebony, the majority, they have a mentality of that when I am strong enough, then I will do this. You know, I need to get this first. Like I need to get my academy up or my research. I need to build troops. I need to get K33. I need to get K35. There's this endless like loop, like this cycle of one day I will be ready. And it is really just an excuse that people tell themselves because they are afraid to participate. And what a lot of people aren't realizing is that if you're going to fail, if you're and you're going to fail, if you if you are new at this game or you've never done PVP, I mean, I remember like the first time I did a battlefield, I was like, man, what the heck am I doing? I got no idea. Right. So there's a there's a there's a fear factor to some players that fear can be overwhelming to where it just keeps them stuck in this mode of one day I'll be ready. And, and the reality of this game is that it never ends. You know, if you're a K30 and you got, you know, T12s, oh man, I got to have T13s. And then once you got T13s, oh man, I got to have T14s. Oh man, I need a good, you know, Archer Gen. It's going to keep going. It does not stop. So, but a, a big reason why players get into the cycle is because they are afraid to fail. They're afraid of negative, you know, social proof, meaning they don't want to get blasted in world chat. They, they don't want to look bad. Um, if I could go back in time with my server, um, you know, we talk about putting in rules to, you know, to hinder or hurt, you know, players that go negative in SVS. Here's the reality. Majority of SVS is they're not going to come down to the wire. I'm not saying you're not going to get those from time to time where it's within, you know, like 100 mil points like Sunday evening. But most of the time, SVS, it's going to be a pretty decent margin. Anybody that's, you know, 50 mil, 30 mil, for the most part, they're not going to make or break any type of SVS win or loss. It's just not for the most part. I mean, if you're 600 mil power and you got the ability to give up, you know, 200 mil points in one clip, you know, to the enemy server, then yeah, you then that's going to be an issue. Players that are building that are not doing SVS, I hate to break it to you, but you are becoming a bigger liability by growing without getting the experience because it, you're going to blow up to a point in power where your skill is not going to match that power and you're going to give yourself more negative attention because you're so big now. Your negative points are going to really shine. Because it, if you're a certain amount of power, it's going to really hurt, you know, your ability to PvP. So, how do you confront this, right? Like, hey, I I want to PvP. I'm currently working on something, and once I get there, then I'll be okay. If that were the case, and we'd all have like super active SVSs, right? Like, you just have you know, a hundred people going nuts. But the reason why that's not happening is that people have that mindset of, okay, I'm working on this. Once I have it, I'm good. Once they get there, they put another thing that they're chasing. There's going to be, there's always going to be a, a, a carrot on a stick. That's not going to end. I'm K35, almost 2 billion power. And I'm already looking at what 3 billion is going to look like. But you can't let that, you know, stop you from actually participating because that's how you learn. If if you're K28, you you want to know how to be a K28. If you're K30, you need to know how to be a K30, 32, 33. There's different, you know, elements of buffs and debuffs and mart size and the interaction. I mean, that is the the you cannot put a, a price tag on experience. You, the, the power, the skills, the generals, all that, if you're not getting the actual experience in this game, then you're just stuck and you're not going to get out of it. And, you know, this is a war game. You know, the, the this it's all ranked. Everything's ranked. The generals, the power, SVS ranking, you know, 
battlefields. This is a competitive game. The whole point of this, that of why we play, is because you want to kill people. <laughs> and But you want to be good at it. And one day you want to be good at it enough to actually participate. So I don't know... Who, you know, who follows, you know, this channel that this will actually resonate with. If it's not you personally, believe me, you've got people in your alliance right now that would love to participate in PVP, but they are afraid that they're going to do bad and it's going to make them look bad. And you know, I don't want to cost my, my server this SVS. If you're 30 mil power, you are not going to cost your server SVS. There's a catch to it though. You know, if you, I would have much rather lose four SVSs in a row and get my whole server engaged in pvp in the experience to have a, a healthier environment because here's the thing in order for people to spend money they have to be having fun and the more fun that they have the more money they're going to spend so just keep that in mind corners um if you're regardless of your team or not anybody any big power player would love to have like you know 5 10 15 20 like skill for you know seasoned you know pvpers that when they go into svs like they know it's going to be a really good time and if you want people to invest more financially hey plug in you have any like reach out got you covered on corning <laughs> no kidding uh, but people need to have more fun like they need to be able to unlock wonder and they need to you know be able to to progress in the game where SVS is a good way to do that, you know, server rewards, personal scores, 64 mil, um, you know, better percentages for having a winning outcome. And then of course, to you corners out there, you know, you don't need to toe the line. Like, I mean, I have, I've spent SVS where I've dropped, you know, billions of resources, you know, years of speeds, you know, just pulling the win out. Um, but if I could go back in time, you know, I would say, hey, look, hey, we may be losing SVSs for three months, but guess what? We're going to have a really strong community. Our players are going to learn the ropes and there's, you know, completely remove the element of like social bashing, you know? I mean, you see it all the time. Someone goes negative, oh, world chat. Oh, well, you know, somebody wants to take out the reason why they lost. And the sad part is that one of two things, if somebody is really bad at PVP, for the most part, it's a reaction to giving a, a negative comment to a performance and there's really lackluster of like nurturing and hey, like saw that you did you didn't do really well in SVS. Like let's let's take a look at it. Like somebody getting involved to make that player better. Like my philosophy is I don't care if you go negative 200 mil in an SVS. Just don't, you can't keep doing it. Like you need to understand why it's happening. And then learn and just take responsibility for it, um, because if people are going to fail. I mean, if you have, if if you're a skilled player and you have this expectation that people that are just starting this game are just going to have like the the comfort level with you know fighting and etc., it, it's it's not going to happen. I mean, more you on any given server, there is more fear going on than there are skillful skillful players. Me, if somebody's going negative and they could care less about actually improving performance, and I got nothing for you. I got no sympathy. Um, you know, I see it blasted all over you know, like Facebook groups, and I see it in world chat, especially if you're a corner. I mean, you hear it. Oh, well, you know, you have all this money and daddy's credit card and blah, 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 blah. Um, I see it in, in, in comments on YouTube channels everywhere. And this is the reality. Like money is relative to any one given person, depending on your circumstances. Five bucks could be a lot of money to somebody. I mean, you'd be like Sir Philip, right? I mean, he could drop 100 Gs and it's just like, boom, nothing, you know? I think a, a 10 bill player uh, from Continent One said it best when, he, you know, he gets comments. He's like, hey, my bank account's doing just fine. You know, how's yours doing? Um, I'm not saying that to be arrogant or cocky, um, but if you have a problem with the money and the impact that it makes in this game, then you're playing the wrong game because when you sign up to play this, you already know you can invest your time to, to get you know, a third of what you could get if you just coin and you get it faster. This whole game is rigged to and designed around getting people's money. And I understand that. And if you don't, then I say it all the time. If you don't like it, like go buy a $50 PlayStation game and go have fun where you have fair and competitive play. This game is not fair. It is who wants to spend the most is going to be the best. 
when it uh, in the in the big picture things you know when we're talking about like all stars and you know being like you know billions of power nobody's farming <laughs> you know on a newer server and hitting one bill in six months it's not gonna happen you know but that is what we sign up for and i also do believe is what gives this game the allure or like the appeal that it has to be able to it's kind of like poker you know you have all this money invested and you have the ability to actually lose it all like you could you know like you get rallied in in SVS and you don't have enough sources of life to cover the amount of troops that you lost. I mean, you know, there's all kinds of ways that really make this game intriguing. So if you remove the element of coining completely, it wouldn't be the it wouldn't be the game that everybody loves. Um, I don't understand why people like on Facebook groups like they talk about it, but they quit. Like you quit, like move on. Like okay, like you walked away from it, you uninstalled. Like be good. So I'm not trying to come off like a douche. I'm just putting things in the right perspective. Um, you don't need to be a corner to be a skilled PVP -er. I mean, you could be 30, 40, 50 mil power and still become positive and gain a ton of resources because there are more keeps to attack at that level than anything else. It's just the, the, the fear. So the reason why I'm talking about this is that if you are afraid of PVP because of that social proof, you need a mentality of screw what anybody thinks. Like, who cares? Like, this is your game. You're playing it. In order to get good, you have to practice. You have to, if you don't ever practice, you are never going to get good at it. There's no way around it. You can watch YouTube videos. You can watch like live streams. You can, you know, collect all this theory and information. But if you're not actually applying it, you're not going to get better. You're not going to get better at it. It's like, you know, playing basketball. I can watch, you know, YouTube videos all day long about how to, you know, how to dribble and how to shoot a three pointer. But if I'm not actually out in the court, like applying it, I'm not going to get the reflexes. I'm not going to get like the muscle memory. I'm not going to get the, like, you know, the full understanding of it. Um, you know, battlefields are a, a really good way to do that. Um, you know, my, my challenge to anybody that, that's listening to this is if you are afraid of being like participating in SVS because of your certain, your current size, get over it, you know, put yourself out there, have fun, expect to lose, expect to be bad. Who cares? Like, you know, say in world chat, hey, this is my first SVS. If I suck, deal with it. What are they going to do about it? I mean, what are they going to do about it? You know, if you're, you know, five, 600 mil power, I mean, play with some responsibility on that. You go out there and you get zeroed once, like don't heal up and be out there, you know, two minutes later. <laughs> I've seen that happen too. Um, but the whole point of this, of this video is if you're afraid to PVP, face it you're missing out on so much enjoyment of this game the whole point of buildings and troops and all these things that we talk about the whole point of it is for you to go out and actually have fun those who are corning those who already know their stuff you should reach out to your alliance to your community and embrace more people participating in svs like remove the remove the the negative you know implications like to cut the brakes on that. If you lose a couple SVSs, you're going to be just fine. You know, it's not like you, you know, whether you get 600K gems or 300K, who cares? Or if, you know, you don't really, if it's that big of a deal to you, then you know what? Take your kill ratio from two to one and make it three to four to one. Like, but there's long term benefits to this approach because you're going to give players the opportunity to actually get their feet wet. And at the same time, they're going to have more fun. And the odds are they probably will coin just a little bit more. And the more corners that you have on your server, the better the server is going to be. And again, just like with Shalon and the things that are coming up, a team environment, a team gameplay is something that Ebony is working on. And I, it's going to keep going. So um, I hope this was helpful. If you're afraid, get over it. If you fail, suck it up. If you get blasted in world chat or by your alliance, you know what, if you suck, then you suck, but at least make the attempt, for, you know, look at your battle reports, reach out to your alliance mates. Uh, if you need some coaching, reach out, send me a message. We can talk about it. Um, but put yourself out there, you know, get exposed. Like, don't, don't worry about whatever's going to happen. Just, just, just have fun. Like, this is your game. This is your investment, you know, d do what you want. Break that mentality of I'm waiting until I get this before I can before I can fight. Um, in my alliance, there's a, a teammate that was like, hey, like I need 
to finish, you know, my Vikings up to, you know, 40. And I saw that and I was like, you need, okay. So this is a necessity. So I had a casual conversation with them and I was like, you know, the element of SVS and, you know, you know, if you got a hundred person alliance, right. And, you know, you got people that, you know, God bless them. You got a lot of people that are just boss rallyers, right? Like they're not really, whether they PVP or not, like their goal is they, they like killing bosses. They like killing monsters, right? Which is great for any healthy alliance. So you got people that are investing their time to run rallies, to kill monsters, to give people the opportunity that are lower power to join so that they can grow for what? To For for what means? I mean, I, like I want those who are not PVPing to, to really understand this. So like you're asking for help in your alliance because you need things, you need gold, you need, you know, materials, like you need resources, right? But what is that, the help that you're getting from your alliance, what is that, what dividends is that paying out? You are getting this and you're giving back what? And the whole point of, you know, killing bosses is because you want resources and you want to grow stronger. So if you're, you know, K30, you want to run, you want people to run rallies for you so that you can grow to K32 and then K33 and then K35 and then, you know, T13s, T14s. So like, as in like today or this week or next month, you're going to invest all of your time into getting resources and speed ups so that what? When you're K35 in two years, you're going to be able to play SBS finally. Um, your server may not even be like your people you're playing with. They may not even be around then. I mean, who knows what, you know, two years is going to bring from now. What, what is the need? If, if you're not actually fighting, then where's the need? I mean, I, mean, I think the absolute worst is people that participate in kill event and they don't actually participate you know, in an SVS, so it's like, hey, I'm going to hurt my server and then I'm not going to help win. The whole point of growing is, is so you can kill people. You need to murder stuff. <laughs> that's that's why you grow. You can do it at K28. You can do it at K30. You can do it at K. There's, there's no reason why anybody that is playing this game should not be out participating in SVS, killing stuff, scout reports, you know, protecting temples. Everybody should be getting involved in this. And uh, I'm talking to my server at the same time. I mean, this, I don't think there's a server out there that this is not applicable to. But, you know, next time that you think that you need something from your alliance, ask yourself, why do I need this? And, and for the most part, 99% of the way this game is played, it's really just to serve the single self-interest of that person wanting to collect stuff because it makes them feel good. And if you're that type of player, then I would, and most people are, is that, you know, really start, you know, facing that, that breaking point of like, do it today, do it today, get out of your comfort zone. Cause no matter when you do it, K28, K30, K33, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone and the pressure that you will face with the more power you have, that fear is going to be greater. So if you're going to fail, do it when you're 30 mil power, if you're going to fail, do it at hundred, don't wait until you're huge because that's going to be even more detrimental to the, the scoreboard. So uh, the ask here, the challenge, those who are not PVPing, get out there and fail. And the experienced players that are coiners that, you know, that know what they're doing. If you see that happening, instead of just beating them over the head and making them feel bad for not being good, you know, give a nurturing environment for that person actually taking the initiative and in doing so, it, you have the potential to give your server like another fighter and potentially another corner because they're having more fun in the game. So um, the fear is real people fear of PVP is a thing. You know, this game is psychological. There's a lot of mental components. You know, you can get angry, mad, upset, pissed off, you know, all range of human emotions apply to this game and fear is really holding back a lot of people from PVP and, it's not even something I've been completely aware of until probably recently, just seeing the pattern of excuses of people over and over and over again, um, talking about what they're waiting for before they can actually participate. So 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, stroll down the beach uh, with scented candles and, uh, and lavender scents. Uh, hope you guys appreciate the insight. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next content.